Now for today's demonstration, we're gonna be using the ESOB Renegade Volt. Yeah, this is a battery powered welder. However, if you don't need the batteries, you don't need them. I really wish more people saw the videos that we created last year in 2024, where we took this same welding machine and we put it on a snowmobile, took it in the back country of Colorado, just covered the freaking thing in snow and it still worked to make the repair that we were heading to, as well as snowboarding down a mountain. That one was a little silly, but we got to the job and we made the welds on site with the batteries. I'm not gonna be using the batteries. I got them unplugged right now now and I got it plugged in right into the wall that's what I really like about this is you don't necessarily need the batteries but you can run it straight off the plug getting into it though the reason why I wanted to show up more of this is because when we go to the process here and we pick stick and we come all the way over to our electrodes it has a specific function on this machine 6010s and 6011s they can be tough to run this one has a specific button so you can click a cellulose rod as we're going to be using a 6010 today as well as we're going to be using our basic 7018s. It has two different settings for that aside from the amperage. Now we even have to set our amperage properly of course. So when I'm using a 1 8 diameter 7018 I like to be somewhere around 120 amps. If I'm using a 1 8 diameter 6010 however same size wire but because that flux is different I'm going to actually run probably closer to that's the wrong direction, cowboy, in between 80 and 90, somewhere at that point. And even still, that might be a little bit aggressive depending on the thickness of base mill. We're running about quarter inch plate today, so we don't need to be super hot with our 6010s. Some other things that can help prevent from sticking that this machine can offer is, of course, your arc force, which depending on the electrode, it kind of gives a crisp or soft uh, feeling to it. If you get into it, you'll understand it's a little bit more violent on the crisp side and on the soft side of stuff. If you take away that arc force, it tends to be harder to run sometimes. But if you have an aggressive arc, it's nice to soften it. So sometimes if you're too soft, you might end up having a hard time keeping a rod lit. So depending on what rod you're running, you might want to adjust that arc force. And same thing with our hot start. Hot start's super nice as far as a function to keep you from sticking right off the jump. I usually set it right there at about five, right in the middle kind of like a percentage. So it's gonna give you like 50% of the amperage you set for a certain amount of time. We're gonna start with our 6010s first because I think they're a little bit easier to light. So we'll go back there, go back. We got our amperage set. We're gonna set that sucker to 85. 